Hello everyone, my name is Busayo and I'm a software engineer and also an Ashikop ambassador. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can deploy your .NET Core apps to Azure Kubernetes. Um, so I'm not going to give a brief summary about what .NET Core is. So .NET Core is an open source and the cross-platform framework is used to build applications such as web apps, IoT apps, web APIs, mobile backends, and so on. And the .NET Core app runs on .NET Core or the full .NET framework. So there's um, this thing that .NET Core has. It's called Kestrel. It's a managed cross-platform web server, and you typically run behind um, a production web server like IIS, Nginx. So there are various ways and different ways um, to publish and deploy your .NET Core app. So I listed some of them here. You can publish your app to IIS. You can publish your app to an FTP server, and you can publish your app to a container registry that works with Docker images, which is what we're going to be looking at today. So what's a Kubernetes service? Um, it's a logical abstraction for um, a deployed group of pods in a cluster that typically like perform the same function. So um, there's AKS, which is Azure Kubernetes Service. And what it helps you do is um, it helps it helps simplify your deployment process. Um, so your workload or your operational overhead is handed over to Azure. Um, and so what Azure does is it handles like critical tasks for you, tasks such as health monitoring, maintenance. Um, your pod is being restored if there's a failure. So your um, when you deploy your cluster. Um, things like your nodes and your community master, they are all deployed and they're configured for you. So yeah, I mentioned earlier that one way to publish or deploy your app is um, by using a container registry. So we have what is called Azure Container Registry. It's a private Docker registry in Azure and you can use it to store and manage your Docker container images. You can also use it to store related artifacts. And one way to use Azure registry or um, a way to use Azure container registry is by pushing your image to the registry using Docker commands. So we have Docker commands that can use to push your image to the registry. You can pull from a registry. You can run an image from a registry. It can also deploy to your community cluster. So here's the workflow and this is how um, you typically like deploy your app. I move from um, just a basic uh, normal app here, and I mean, it's you can run it from your Azure Kubernetes. So we have our web app here, which speaks to our API application. It's um like a regular front end, speaks to an API. It can also be like a web application, it speaks to an external API, and then the ap API speaks to um, a database application, which in turn, I mean, communicates with Azure SQL database. So what happens is, as you can see, um. These two applications are moved to the Azure Container Registry. But before they are moved to the Azure Container Registry, what happens is they have to be a Docker image. So you just typically have to um, um, containerize these applications. And then when they are containerized, you move it to or you push it to your Azure Container Registry. And then when your image is confirmed to be your Azure Container Registry, you deploy it to. Um, the Kubernetes cluster, and you can run your app from Azure Kubernetes. So yeah, um, these steps just basically expand the diagram that I mentioned that I showed earlier. So um, let me create your app, um, create a Docker image from your app, containerize your image, containerize your app, pardon me. Um, then you create an Azure Container Registry. You push your image to the Azure Container Registry. You create a Kubernetes cluster and you also create your manifest files and you deploy and run your app. So I'm just going to go right into um, looking at the requirements. So here are some the tools that will be required for this demo. Um, Docker, then I'm going to be using an ID. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, so you can use Visual Studio Code as well, it's fine. Then um, Azure CLI can be installed on your um, PC, so you can use Azure CLI from a terminal, uh, or 
you can use the CLI on Portal or Azure. So either ways. Then I'm gonna be using um kubectl for um to run my Kubernetes commands. So yeah, um we'll go to the demo now. Okay, so I'm going to be creating my app right now. So um my .NET Core app, I'm gonna create an MVC app. So .NET new MVC um Just call it Africa ACT. So yeah, my app is being created right now. And to be up yeah, so it's up to um I did it we're supposed to like trust a certificate but let's just go ahead. So okay, so um I'm going to navigate to the app folder now. So Africa CD. Yeah, then I'm going to um restore the mission. It's going to take a second. So I'm going to restore them. I mean, I can run build or run, but I just, I'm just going to do a uh, .NET run. Okay, yep. So our app is running. So we can go ahead to confirm this um on our browser. So it's running on local host as well. So let's go ahead to copy that, um, open up our browser, and, yep, our app is up and showing. Then we can go ahead to, um, and shut down the app. Okay, so let's go ahead to open our app from our ID. So open the just to do code. Our app is in and yep it's open here so sorry about it just yeah so this is our app basically um we have our views our models and our controllers so what we are going to do next is um we're going to um containerize our app that's Make our app into a Docker image. So let's go back to our terminal and then all we just have to do is um you can do it from here, from terminal here or from the terminal on the ID. So then just do it from here. So let's just do first of all I need to publish the app. So let's do .NET publish. And wait for app to be published. Mm -hmm. Okay, our app is being published. So next stop, um, we're gonna um create a Docker file. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so we can see that um our Docker file has been created. So let's just go ahead. Um, so because I've done this before, I'll just go ahead to um copy what I have here. Not gonna copy, but I just have to copy. Them. Okay, so I've gone ahead to copy what I have before, so I'll just uh, make some adjustments and then quickly do that. Um, our DLL is going to be Africa PCD. Um, which is where we have from here. So typically, so what this does is that um, we're selecting 5.0 SDK of ASP.NET and then we're copying our published app into this folder 
um, this is working directory app. Then we are telling Docker that we should use app as the working directory. And then the entry point is um, .NET application which is like an, ex an executable command. So next up is um, let's just create um, another folder called um, Docker Lima. So now Docker ignore um we're just gonna ignore ignore AVJ. So yeah, so um what I'm going to do next is now we're going to build our image so I mean, you can use the terminal here, but let's just go back to our terminal here. So we're going to be doing Docker build. So let's call this, um, sample this demo image. And I need to specify now the first file that I created. So it's going to go ahead to build our image. So our image is building right now. And yep, our image is done building. So as you can see, um, our command from ASP.NET Finder SDK, we're copying from here to here, selecting up as our working directory. And then here yeah, our um image has been used. So as you can see we have an image here that contains our app. So um you can check the list of images that you had before. Um so this here is the last one we just ran forty six seconds ago. So we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead to um, create our container. So we have um, Docker creates name of our container. The name of our image, which is this. So yeah, we get back our container ID. So we can run the Docker command to get the list of all our containers. So we have this and we have like all the of our containers. So this will take it ten seconds a day. So we can try to start our container. So let's just do Docker. Starts of our container name was per sample PCD container. And here it's been started. Okay, so now we're not going to run our image. So let's do Docker run. Um, let's expose it to 2008. Then we're going to call the name of our image, which is sample kcd demo image. So, yeah, our app is running on the purpose of the image. So, I'm go ahead to check our browser. You see that it's running in that part. So, yeah, um, just run our image from Docker. So um going back to our terminal now, what all we're supposed to do next is push our image to Azure container registry. So before you do that, you have to create a resource group using Azure CLI. So 
um, you can use this command to create it. You can also create a resource book from your portal or Azure. But I've created one before, so I'm just going to use the one that I created. So we're going to be creating um, our registry now. Let's create a registry. Okay, so let's just go there. Let's see how create your resource book. Like I said, um, I already have a resource book. So I'm not going to be creating one after so and then we just name our um registry and then let's So, just with the names and then our registry instance will be up. So, yeah, it's up right now. So, um, people can have access to the instance, you have to log in. So, let's just log the registry. Um, you can use And then, okay. all things going to call, should they log into it today? Log into our registry, and then we're going to just go ahead to push our container image to our registry. So, um, before we push our image to the registry, we're pressing tab, tab image. So we're going to tab in the image, and then before we tab the image, we have to get the login server for our Container instance. So let's just um, try to get the server for that. So our server is this one. So find the query and find the server. So yeah, this is our server, this is where we're pushing our image to. Now, um, let's just do the images to find our images again. So let's tap, go ahead and tap our image. So let's tap our image. And the name of our um server found all the thing. Which is um I'm just gonna have to Query. So this is our server. So let us know that then. Okay, so we just want to tap our image now. So let's just move this image. This is the our server, and then we are tagging our sample image as this one. So we're done with that. Now the next step is to push our image to our container registry that we just created. So all of this will be going into Docker push um, our ACR server and then our image as well that we just have. So yeah, 
française, par leur prochain métier, qui se passe ce que ce vol dans les victimes quand même, ce que je suis. Ce genre ça casse les vues, on a ce que quand je couche, par le temps que je suis, ah ouais, je me dis que je suis. Quand je couche, là, je vois, je vais se couper. So yeah, it says images of the dead and um, my images are typically included. Then, you can do a lot of things, you can verify our tag. So let's go ahead to um, create a community poster. We can create it using um, the Azure CLI, like, but I'll just prefer to yeah, go to the Azure portal for that. So, this is the Azure portal, you see um, Kubernetes service, and then we just don't know which product to come up. I have actually um, created one before. And so see Kubernetes service, so I have one. So I have a cluster before, but then we can create another cluster. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead to choose my research group. Um, let me call my cluster KCD. Okay. Then I want to pick just one node, and then I'm just gonna go ahead to review. So we're initializing um deployment, submitting deployment. And yep, yeah, our cluster is being deployed. Deployment in progress in progress. So I just wanna hold on a bit for that. As you can see, it's been created, but we're waiting for people to be done. So, we yeah, can hold on. While we hold on, um, we can as well check out um, our container registry. So, view the registry that we created for. So, this is what we created KCD registry. I can just go ahead to check it out. We've oh, created um, before. So if you go to repositories here, you should see the image that we created. So you. Yeah. This is in the sample KCD demo image. So if you click on that, you see our tags if you want. Basically, here our image. Okay, so our deployment is done. Um, you can see we've been able to create our cluster. So, um, Let's just go ahead to download our cluster configuration for Q16. So, what I'm going to do is that get credential. Um, we're going to be referencing our research group. My research group is my resource group. And the name of our cluster is K16. 
Kesye Denye Kyo. Yep, so we've downloaded our cost of operation for KeepCTL. So next is um we verify our KeepCTL content. So we do that by running KeepCTL. Config get context. And yep, button our context. So what we created was KCD demo here. So we're good. So we can, I mean, get our nodes. KCTL get nodes. AKS has done that for us. So we can go ahead to get our nodes. So yep, we have one node ready for us. So we can now go ahead to create our um, manifest files. Our Kubernetes deployment manifest files. So um, let's just go ahead to create um, so now we'll go back to our ID to create that. So what we do is um we do Let's create a pod. And let's create a service. So the smallest unit of work in Kubernetes is called the pod. And going back to our ID now. So I'm just gonna show us not to waste time. Just gonna copy what I have in my format code here. And then I just give you like the appropriate name. So I'm just I'm gonna name this app Africa KCD app. Up. and then our image is so um, Docker images to get image um can find our image from one of our comments here. So here's our image. I'm gonna go ahead to replace that. And then we yes, run on to be exposed on port 18. Then as service, I'm just gonna have to copy what I've done before as well. Please don't copy. You may make mistakes here. Just write from scratch. So I'm just gonna copy the name of our app. Okay. Um, same for this. The same for this. And then um, let's make our app run in port five thousand and three. So I have all like I can't tell which of my ports is in use. That's why I'm using this um ports. So let's go back to our port so I can sort of like explain what's going on here. So you can see we have labels here. So what labels does is they are basically like key value pairs that are attached to Kubernetes objects. So they are basically like used to identify the attributes of the object and and I mean just for organizing subsets of objects. 
So the spec um, it describes the properties of the pod. As you can see, we're referencing our image, and then like what is our image? Our image is a web page, and then we're instructing Kubernetes that our network traffic um it's on port eighty. So the reason for this service is because we're trying to expose Kubernetes and cluster wide or externally. So that's why we, are cre we created this um, service final, which is um, referencing, which is referencing our um, board. So you see the container port is on eighty, and then this is the target port eighty. But then, like our app will be um, exposed on five thousand and three, and then we're also specifying. A load balancer here. So let's just go ahead to apply our changes. We have to apply. Um, so let's just go ahead to apply our manifest. So we'll go back to the terminal and then we're going to do cube ctl apply. Uh, the is us um we are applying our report so this is being created and then we go ahead to apply our service your service the yaml and it's been created so what we just have to do now is we don't know watch our services to see if they are up or not. So do you see watch? So as you can see our app is up. Um this is the name of our pod type it's a load balancer this is the cluster IP and this is the external IP which you can access it on and this is the so let's just now go ahead and go to our browser and copy our external IP. As on port five thousand and three. Yes, I have deployed and running from. AKS. So thank you so much for listening. Here's my Twitter handle. And if you have any questions, as this was a recording, you can drop it in the chat. I will be listening in and I would love to answer questions. Thank you.